don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hit and love. Scanny ass bitch there. What's good YouTube? It's your boy V Skinny and today I am here to check out my, my nigga Chief Keith signs a movie deal with Apple Music to have a documentary made on his life. That's some real shit. Cause you know what I'm saying? Chief Keith is a very innovative person. Like everybody was copying his rap style. Everyone wanted to drill, everyone wanted to whack a op, like everyone wanted to wanted to be that. But damn, I mean, it's, it's it's still kind of early to do a documentary on his life. I still feel like Chief could, you know what I'm saying, put out some shit. But I'm about to see what my nigga DJ Academics got to say. Check it out now, the story of Sosa Belli, okay? Sosa Now, Belli. Sosa Belli is a guy who is a Chirac Baphomet. I call him Sosa Belli, but he's known as Chief Keith to a lot of other people. Now, his story is quite bittersweet. You know why? Because the trajectory that his career was on when he just came out the gate, had a bunch of hit songs, Love Souza, Hate Being Soul, but a bunch of other songs dominate the mixtape circuit. People said yeah, that with all. the energy he kind of got, he could be the next 50 Cent, potentially. However, we saw talent wasted away, opportunities wasted away, as Chief Keef, who was signed to Interscope, basically missed interviews, basically missed performances, basically missed video shoots, and didn't give a fuck about the rap industry. Shit. Now, when you don't give a fuck about the rap industry, they're not going to give too much of a fuck about you for too long. So eventually he saw his label people and the people who brought him in and i'm talking about of course larry jackson and jimmy iveen those were the head people up at uh interscope actually larry jackson was the a r and then jimmy iveen he ran a label okay so yeah. basically they went to apple music and chief Keith started looking around like oh shit the people who brought me here who believed in me they're not here so chief Keith got off that label chief Keith subsequently is just uncooperative like he couldn't even cooperate with like his other label owner and we all know Chief Keith has been fucking up over the years in terms of like warrants and all that. He can't go back to Chicago. However, I am very happy to say that Chief Keith is getting a second chance with the people who really took a chance on him and signed him when he was sixteen. It's five years later. He's twenty one. Right. Uh I ain't even wanna read it, but fuck it, y'all can't see it, so I'm about to read the shit. It's a Earlier this year, we interviewed Chief Keith, the biggest rap star to emerge out of Chicago in the last five years. During our wide-ranging conversation, which covered everything from Drake's influence to Sosa's recording process, Keith revealed that Larry Jackson, the Inters Interscope executive who signed Sosa years ago and now works as the head of original content at Apple Music, had actually offered him the first Apple Music deal back when the streaming service initially launched. But for whatever reason, Sosa turned it down, and the artists like Drake and Chance the Rapper were going to capitalize on similar deals. It looks like Chief Keef and Apple Music have struck up a new relationship. And then they say, XXL has learned that Apple Music is producing a documentary on Chief Keef called The Story of Sosa, the movie. The documentary will cover a large portion of the 21-year-old's rap rappers. Hey, Chief Keef only 21? What the hell? On the 21-year-old rapper's life, including his incarceration as a teen, rumors of his death after he was shot by cops, landing a multi-million dollar deal with Interscope, the impact of his music on the crime rate in Chicago, flawed gun control in his hometown, his escape from a rehab facility in Malibu on foot, damn, and his undeniable influence on the new generation of hip-hop today. The documentary is set to be released in December to celebrate the five-year anniversary of Keith's debut album, Finally Rich. That shit is a classic. Like, five years later, he's 21. That is a great album. Now, Larry Jackson and Jimmy Ivey, they've signed off on a documentary a on Chief Sosa. Okay? It's going to be on Apple Music. And by the way, which is so ironic, Apple Music approached Chief Keith years ago, trying to sign him as an artist to, I guess they were trying to have a label, Chief Keith declined it, but now Chief Keith looks like he's seen the light. There's going to be a documentary called The Life, or actually The Story oh, of Sosa the Movie. It looks up. Damn it. Earlier this week, Sosa and Jackson reunited in LA for the first time in nearly three years. The, re the reunion was apparently triggered by our interview, 
they seeing how Sosa just announced his third mixtape of the year. Now is a, as good as a time as ever to let the world know about his Apple Music documentary. After taking 2016 off, Sosa's been busy as hell this year, dropping 2017 on January 1st. And following that up with his long-awaited Thoughtbreaker project. We talked to CB Mix, the main producer behind Thoughtbreaker, and about about how it all came together. Keith's next mixtape, The W, is set to drop sometime in early September. Over a large portion of his life, including his incarceration as a teen, rumors of his death, apparently the cops were busting at him, you know what I mean? No lacking, right? And it's going to cover his hometown, of course, his loved ones, and where he up. Now I think this is a dope move for Chief Keith. Chief Keith. Chief Keith is very even though in, influential. We look at like, him and say this guy is still one of the most influential people in rap. And don't laugh when I'm saying this because it's true. There's no, a lot actually, of his kids working around here. It. You gotta say, man, if only Keith had done this, where would he have been? Now this documentary is gonna show us a lot of things that was going on in his life. Again, he was 16, seeing people die left and right. He of course didn't understand the rap industry, and now he gets to reflect on it and also collaborate with Apple Music to make this documentary. I can't wait. I think this should be dope. And a good thing that Larry Jackson actually linked back up with uh, Chief Keith. This is going to be a good thing, I believe, for the fans of Chief Keith. Get time out you guys like and subscribe. Are you guys expecting and anticipating the documentary called I'm anticipating. Story of I Sosa? definitely want it. I, I want to know, know is it going to be a movie, like, or is it going to be like a on Apple Music to where you're actually just listening to it? Like, I want to actually see some shit. Like, I watched his, uh, re what was it, Rehab, I think? He had a Rehab um, interview with, forgot the uh, the doctor's name. But yeah, I watched that, like, that shit was like, I don't know, I was high as hell, but that shit was just like, damn. Like, he was just telling all about, like, he was naming off all his niggas that done died from, like, gun violence, blood money, damn, uh, fuck capo, like, I don't know. It it's a fucked up life to live, but shout out my nigga Chief. That he was a big influence on my life, I know that. Shit. Uh make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time YouTube, I'm out. Five minute man, I'm in your bitch and then I'm out gone. All I need is five minutes in or out her mouth. If she talking crazy nigga, I just kick her out. This a one where I'm bout, bet I knock her pussy out.